Thank you, Diana, and thank you everyone for being here. As she said, my name is Lisa Pina Warren. I'm a community member, I'm a mother, and I'm a grandmother, and I'm the director of victim services at the Nonviolence Institute. Um, I'm here just because it's very important for us all to be here and to come together in order to fight this fight. Um, we know that violence has been an issue for a very long time, and we do see numbers rising as the weeks go by. Um, the last couple of weeks, I would say the last few months, you know, we've been responding to hospital responses almost on a nightly basis. So we've lost a lot of individuals. Um, you know, coming from my perspective and my team's perspective, perspective, excuse me, um, we're sitting with mothers, fathers, family members when they're being told that their loved one is not going to survive or did not survive. We're sitting with them when they're waiting to find out the results while their loved one is in, a, in the operating room. So our communities are hurting. And as Diana said, although many of us are from Providence, it's just not Providence. We're seeing it in Cranston, we're seeing it in Pawtucket, we're seeing it in Woonsocket, we're seeing it in Central Falls, we're seeing it in Warwick. Uh, victim Services responds to every call statewide. So when I say it's happening everywhere, it's not just Providence. It's, this is an issue for all of us to come together and try to um, fight this fight together. So thank you.